The worst part about a video is like making sure the setup looks cool because I just be taking so damn long. Damn it! My phone done got cold. Wait, y'all, hold on. So before this video starts, I gotta put y'all on because you know I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put it in a song. So, okay, y'all know me. First thing I'm gonna do is spend some money and I'm gonna make it though. But I'm always gonna spend it. And what did I tell y'all just a few videos ago? Actually, I don't know if I said this a few videos ago, but I do know I said it before to one of y'all. Um, yes, she, let's say you have all this money, you can make a million dollars, but if you spend a million dollars, do you have a million dollars? No. So I'm about to help my sisters out. I like to make sure the girls is doing what the girls gotta do because if we're not making money, then what are we doing? Because it's not sense. I N D E P E N D E N T. Do you know what that means? Anyways, listen, if y'all need some money, you can get $750 free on Cash App. So all you gotta do is press yes. Get it to a friend but i got rent due <laughs> utility just came out today shit <laughs> okay how many times you go shopping per week 10 okay please wait please wait please wait girl then you go in here put in your eat girl oh wait let me hide it i don't need my number in there on y'all wait i forgot you gotta definitely make sure before you even see any of that bread bitch you got to do your deals make sure to complete the deals i got a little example right here okay go ahead and follow it it's not too hard and yeah Anyway, all y'all gotta do is click the first thing in my bar, or if you click this QR code right here, it'll take you to the site. Fill out all the information. It really don't matter what like questions you answer. Just go ahead and put all of them, cause girl, I mean, we're here to get the bread. Now wait, y'all about to gag in a second. Wait. Ah! Now look at this though. Who that is right there? The baddest. What that is right there? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Y'all know what to do. Anyways, I'm with the video. Ah! What's up, K Mama F and B Mob? Ah, what up, what up? It's your boy Keys, Keys the GOAT, Keys the President, Big Keys with a big wall and a big mouth fan about he what? Exactly, right, right, you get it, you get it. I'm glad to have it a beautiful Tuesday, cause I know, I am. And honestly, we're, I mean, look at us, we're back here with the, can y'all see the, let me, let me put some of this in here. We got some other food here. You see that? It's official, it's, it's fucking official. Um, yeah, so y'all, this video we gonna be doing something a little, not a little different, it's kind of, hmm. I think, oh, let me see, look at, I'm, I'm prepared now. Cause you know, um, I have ADHD. <laughs> I'm just self-diagnosing it. I know if I went to a doctor, he would say the same thing to me. And for I can, if I can just get to that conclusion for free, I'd be better. So I have a list of things um, that I'm talking about now and I'm, I'm ready. And then, you know, we obviously I have some of the submissions I had y'all bring me and you know, asking me about y'all was all asking the same shit. I'm like, damn, like, <laughs> Y'all be on the same side of black Twitter? Like, damn. Got me some lemonade. I already took a few swigs. Honestly, this, this, you know, I, I drank some when I first got it. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, we got some seafood. This guy here dumb early ago, and I'm kind of nervous because I done had to reheat it like eight times. I don't know how seafood like reacts with heat. You know, you, you put some fries in the oven or in a microwave the next day, it might come out tasting like stir fryer. I'm kind of tell right here. Hope my, my, uh, my crab not dry, but it's cool. It's cool. Oh, I don't know if I said this, but we definitely gonna be um, doing, you know what? I don't know if we're gonna definitely be doing it, depending how long this video is. You know what I mean? But I'm gonna try to get some emails in there. Maybe, uh, you know, cool little three. Cool little three piece, you know me. My, oh, we gotta pray. Amen. This is Donna Hansborough, who worked at the Rankin Lowe's for 13 years. She was fired on June 29th after trying to stop these three people from allegedly <sighs> Well, I mean, well, bitch, damn. Really, like, come on. Like, you see, we hop, we hop right into it because I'm, I'm about to start reading. I'm kind of irritated with you bitches today. I'm irritated. I'm ovulated. I just I just got too much going on. Hey, okay, bitch, period. I'm so, shit, my shit's so irregular. I don't know. I sneeze and the bitch be on her period. Now, let me stop because, you know, I got. I feel like it's a little bit of a sensitive time for the women. I I, I, I make jokes. Like, you know, this is, bitch, put on the list. Put it on the Put it on the list. I'm about to wake it up. Sorry. Okay, anyway, as far as that dumbass video, I don't know what made, let me show y'all, cause I'm not gonna wanna edit this in. So this old ass white lady had the nerve to put her security guard costume on and then defend a Lowe's from these three niggas. Yeah, no, bitch, Lowe's can go to hell. And she, and then she ended up getting fired. See, cause you're not supposed to put your hands on them people. Listen, I promise you that that Boussier is gonna be there in, in Arkansas. It'll always be in another state. I it just, it don't never, is that poop in my shrimp? I don't know if that's a pepper. Let me see. Oh no, bitch, that's dookie. Shit, I'm still gonna eat the other ones. We keep it real over here. <laughs> um, nah, but I don't, yeah, nah. These people take their jobs too seriously. These these companies, that, that, that low $50 ain't, ain't gonna do much to them. Even, and you know, they be talking about something. Okay, companies lose millions a year, okay? And they gonna make even more, okay? Walmart's going to be okay. But anywho, what y'all eating? Sure, cause I'm gonna have a little bit of a conversation with y'all before we start 
We started tearing in the shit. If I like y'all, okay, if y'all comment y'all meal, I'm gonna see who I taste. I'm gonna see who has like the same like taste as me. Y'all all wanna be my twin so bad, but bitches don't wanna eat like me. Come on. Uh-huh. This is good. This is fun. Damn, I got the list. I can't even look at it. Hold on. And why the fuck is my paper towels over there? Oh my god. <laughs> Over it. I just look so dainty. Y'all, guess what? I'm in a um I'm in a medium shirt. Let's get into it. <laughs> a bitch that went down two sizes on that ass. Okay. I was in a extra large. I used to hate okay. I'm like, honestly like the medium this is a medium I have on now. It's kind of crazy. I don't I'm not used to my shirt not going all the way down to like my ankles. Like I don't understand just because a bitch needed an extra large shirt don't mean she needed longer. Like we was we was fat, not tall. Like <laughs> the problem was never the length. It was the width, you know what I mean? So I don't understand why they like had to make the shirts always so long. So this is like weird from and then you know I still have, like a little bit of chest. I'm like not as insecure about it though. Like okay, y'all know I was hella big. I feel like this is just, like it's like almost gone. I'm, like I'm, you know y'all, a bitch is out the two hundreds. I mean let's get into it. Let's get into it. No, actually let's not get into it because my weight is actually a touchy subject. I'm just feeling it a little bit because. You know, my eating disorder isn't as bad as it is. So now I'm just doing it because I'm just a little bit healthier. Like I go to the gym very often. So, you know, it's fun. But if it just starts saying too much, I might get to blocking. I'm quick. That block game is crazy. It's insane, actually. Let's get into, um, oh, yes. Let's cut up some of my, um, sides right here because, bitch, guess what I got? <laughs> Hi, can I make an announcement around this bitch? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Silverware, bitch. I, 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 I've upgraded, okay? I feel like I can breathe. <coughs> Some of that pepper gonna got to me right before. See, shut up. You see how you talk too much and it's. But yes, y'all, I upgraded last night. Got me some, and they're so cute. I got them from Walmart. They're like black and they're like, like all like reflective-y and shit. It's cool. That's nice too. Hey, 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 hey. You know the fuck when a bitch doesn't. If you cook for a bitch and she don't moonwalk after, yo shit was not hidden. Real shit. I wouldn't lie to you. I could I could backflip right now. This shit's so good. And see, this is this is pulse warm-up. That ooh, if I had that bitch straight out the ocean, girl. I don't know how they whatever that big ass pot. What, what, what how they cook uh how they cook uh damn just stuttering and shit? How do they cook crab? Who do you think was the first bitch to eat a crab? Isn't that not, is that not crazy? I'm actually, this is gonna be a very low key video. Like I'm not gonna have very many edits in this one. Especially, I, I think this feels, this has the potential of being our first like hour and 30 minute video. Would y'all gay? Imagine two hours, ooh bitch. The ad revenue would be stupid. Who do you think was the first bitch to look at some seafood and be like, let's eat that motherfucker. Like let's just, let's just see, let's just see. And mind you, fish are ugly as hell. Fish are normalized now, but you gotta think, you gotta really sit there and think. They're ugliest, and there was a time where someone looked at a, a crab, this big ass bohemian sea spider, and was like, I'm gonna boil that little motherfucker, throw some butter on his ass, and I'm gonna wax that shit. Like, like someone said that and, and made it a reality. Now I'm doing it, on camera at that. Someone watching this is doing it, let me know. Every part of this little motherfucker look like a, like a monster. Like it's all, look at that face. Look at that little motherfucker. It's ugly. No. Oh! I'm over it. That was like, I don't even eat that part of the crab. I remember last time we made a video, someone was like, you were making me so mad the way you're eating that crab. Uh, out my mouth. Like, this is what it feels like. This is what I feel like Melanie in the game felt like in her apartment. Like this right here, this is it. I'm just waiting for my, I'm just waiting for my Derwin, but I don't want the cheating part. Like keep that, you can keep that in season, whatever. Oh my God, but um, let's get into it. This shit good as hell. Look, I really don't know how I feel about like touching my phone and eating like seafood. That's not, it's not fun for me right now. Oh, I hope, I hope my comment, let me put my phone, do not disturb. If you have my phone number, stop calling my fucking phone. I'm, I don't like talking to y'all. Like I'm really into, we're gonna get into it in a second. Like, I just never I don't like talking to y'all, but like, honestly, I have a very small, like, social battery. You know what I mean? Like, now I'm okay. See, bitches get a car and finally want okay with being lonely. Ain't that about a bitch. The bitch who was in charge of the 
whatever the spicy seasoning like that bitch had a loose wrist tonight so anyway one of the things that i wanted to talk about in the video before we got to y'all stuff is a list of things i have in front of me and why is one of them i got some friends out here y'all you know i'm starting this it's starting very small it's going very slow but there it's it's going very good you know what i mean quality is definitely a lesson i've learned in the, in the last like year. The friends I've made out here are all very genuine people, all very nice people. None of them are influencers. Like my, and there's like the social media friends I haven't got to like hang out with, but then I'm talking about friends that I made on my own with my personality. I made some new friends and I like it. I like them. Um, they're all very nice. It feels good to be around good spirited people. It feels good to be around positivity. That's a, I'm, I'm really happy to see that's going good for me. Also because um, you know, before I moved out here and what really got me on this new journey of just wanting to be a, you know, better, brighter, nicer, kind, you know, you know I'm, just, I'm still trying on the nice part, but you know, I feel like just being more respect. What the fuck was that? Did I just see? If I didn't tell y'all I'm high, I don't know if I just saw an Australian spider monkey run up my shit right now. I... I that was a little crazy. Maybe it was a glare. I don't care. I like my friends. They're nice. They're cool people. And it's good to see that the reason I moved out here is coming true. Like, you know, it makes you, it makes me feel like I'm going on the right path. I'm doing the right thing to do. I feel like I'm doing things right. That's a good feeling. I just gotta be more like consistent. Like I get so burnt out with YouTube. I really want to find an editor, but the style, I, don't know, I feel like a lot of people, be thinking I'd be one that like editing style where it's kind of like Larry's and I do to an extent but I just want it to be clean I want a nice clean like do y'all know who Trey Clements is I love how he edits his videos and it doesn't have to be as OD as him but I like how it's it's clean it got the he has the right background sounds he adds like edits when it needs to be added and stuff like that like I like that if anybody can do that on God if anybody can do that and they will be willing to edit videos. I'll even like, cause I don't know how I feel about seeing, letting people see like the raw footage. Cause I be stuttering a lot. And I just feel like it'd be embarrassing the way I talk. So I would definitely already give it to them pre jump cut it. I wouldn't even just go back and add any final, like, you know, oh my God, I would literally pay. And then honestly, that could help me do two time, two video posts a week. Cause I could have them do a video and then I'll do my own video. Like, you know what I mean? So. That could do it too. Let me know. What's this? I'm talking business now, bitch. Okay, so cutting people off. People who just give me that feeling of uncertainty and similar to reasons that I've ignored from friends in the past I've done weird stuff, they gotta go. I don't know. I'm, I'm not like the bitch to fuck with no more. Like for real. I done grew up and I done um, found out about some self-love. You bitches, it's fucked up for you bitches now. Okay? That nan bitch, you know, and y'all y'all got it bad when the bitch hated herself. So I'm at, Imagine me now. Imagine how bad you get it if I felt like I was disrespected. I would still keep it at like an adult level. I would try. But it has if it has to get to that, that point, and I gotta, girl, it can. It can, but it's gonna be very rare for it to get that bad. That's how bad it is. It's like, what they call it? Uh, more like a, someone in a movie or a TV show about to die. They have like one last little thing. It's that, that's that, that's that trick up my sleeve, bitch. You thought it was a fist fight and I just shot your ass. For sure. But, like I said, I don't look for problems. So, I would not want, it, it wouldn't get to that point until I was really, really, really disrespected. It's like you're, blo some people really block your blessings. Sometimes you gotta just get out. Damn, I wish I could use my scissors, but I've been using them to cut shit up. I need to uh, go get some other scissors. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna use my teeth. Aw, oh, shit. So, my opinion I'm about to wake it up and a lot of people aren't gonna like this. I feel like it needs to be said because we know what you niggas is trying to say and y'all know what y'all are trying to say. But then when I clock it, y'all know the term sassy and zesty. I hate these words. I hate them. Even then, it's just like sometimes niggas be hurt too and they retaliate in the best way that they know is gonna get your attention. I feel like people use the word sassy to say gay or to call them like they're really, they're really trying to call them that word but they can't because then they don't want a bunch of bitches in their like down their throat not every person who says it means it that way but bitches who say it and they say it like this like i saw a video and a guy was talking about it was like a sadder video and he was saying how it, he was really really sad that the whole most likely get his first pair or first bouquet of flowers at his funeral 
Cause that's a statistic. A lot of men do not get their first yeah. Do not get their first flowers until their funeral. Of all these, there was just all these women saying like, "Shut that sassy shit up," and y'all so sassy now, and like just laughing at it. And I know it's it's actually really not that serious. Like, you want some flowers? Go get some flowers, or you know, say to your friends, and hopefully some good ones will get you some. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I feel like shit like that does. Like, how does that make him sassy? Cause bro wanted some flowers. Like, you know, people pick and choose. And it's just like, anytime a guy does something, especially a black, it's always black men too. Let's really get into it. Black men do something that's outside of the male social construct. They get blamed so bad. Like there was a picture I saw and it was like these two like friends just sleeping in the bed together. But like you can tell from the context clues of the picture, they had just came back from somewhere like a gym or something like that. So, or maybe the, I don't know, they were, they might've been drunk. I don't know, but they were both sleeping and they weren't even cuddled up by each other. And everyone was like, ah, nah, da. And it's just like, y'all make everything gay. Like y'all make everything gay. It's ridiculous, like actually. But anywho, the point I was trying to make was y'all are always screaming like male type masculine break this and break this men can do you know nails this oh my god like y'all you bitches in the nails girl y'all love to fight for drake but you see a nigga on twitter eat a hot dog and he just you he just so gay i be like girl it's so tired and mind you you know i don't really fight up for straight men they're some, a lot of them are terrible people. You know, I get bullied by a lot of straight men the only people i get like hate coming from are like random gay teenagers on twitter or straight men, you know what I mean? There's some hating bitches in there too, obviously. You know, you know, there's a few of them, but mostly those two. And I feel like a big problem in the black community is that niggas are so scared to come out gay. Why everyone is so DL and da da da, da and. It's just like niggas is gay. Like, like you are, you're just born gay. Like the same way you're born straight, you're born gay. There had to be such a big fuss about it. And it's only about black men, and that shit is not. I can relate to that. Like straight, gay or not, I felt the wrath of having to, you know, be ashamed of myself. At mind you, dumb young, like just a little ass boy, four or five years old, liking men, and I knew for some reason. Let me say that shit is about to be. It's about to be up. It's just like when you say it in situations and you know you're trying to call them gay. And just be real, bitch. Like you know, whoever's watching it, y'all know. You know, as soon as I do some shit like that, you doing that, and then preaching that you want niggas to be softer, cause you don't want him to cheat on you, bitch. You're a you're a weird bitch for real. That's weird. I think gay men who are pick me's and let shit like that happen or go in on it to impress straight people. Y'all are just as corny, maybe you you worse. You worse. It's like they still hate you. Y'all like the y'all like the uh, the Uncle Toms of the gay community. Like y'all the house niggas, bro. Shit. There's bitches like me really getting out there in that fucking field, bitch. I know cause hard shit, bitch. I got calluses down my ass. But you motherfuckers over there appeasing the the straight man. Oh hell. Next topic. That kind of go. It was it was talk to me nice. Don't talk to me twice, girl. I'm, I'm getting it. Like I just res demand respect. It was what I was talking about earlier. So there was this boy I used to mess with. And this nigga is so toxic. He was so toxic. But see me, I'm I I peeped that shit and I got out of there. But unfortunately, he was getting in there too. Right before you know, damn it! I don't regret it. Can't say it was bad because you know what? It was the first time I could do something adult like that. You know, tango, just mutual thing. And I say mutual, like I've always got the consent, girl. Don't think I'm one of them. There was no part in between where I felt bad about myself because I knew that I was doing it with the right intentions and the right reasons. If that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. But so y'all, him and I um, actually stopped talking, right? And we've been talked for maybe about a month. And we will always do this weird thing where, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I would just get bold and check his story. I didn't give a damn. And he would just send me random stuff all the time. He would just send me random stuff and but not say nothing when I would text him, like try not to respond, but I would get into that ass like, bitch, uh-uh. So yeah, um, he's a plug now. And you know, we got back in contact and it was healthy and it was like slow and st like slow and steady, but it was like healthy, no arguments. Like we're just, and it's just like, it's just platonic. Like I was like, honestly, like I can't, can't do it. And he was like, what? So everything's like done romantic. I was like, yeah, if you want any of that, we might as well just not talk be or not even be friends because I'm not do I'm not, I'm not with it. And he was cool with being friends. He didn't really had no option to be honest now. Look, I was like, I need your plug. He talking about some, oh, I'm about to start selling myself. So just get it for me, LOL. I'm like, yes, cause listen, yes, I said we platonic, but girl, twister throat. My middle name should be Rooster Dick, okay? I'm like, there's no way he's about to charge me the high, like, there's no way. Why he gonna talk, I shit you not, I, 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 I almost, I almost retracted my statement, but I was like, it's not even worth it. This man gonna tell me he gonna charge me $180 for an ounce. I don't know, listen, I'm new to this 
tree stuff. I like my lips to look nice and pretty. I do not like to be drooling and it be, it be brown sludge and shit kind of. No, I don't like all that. So I like a nice little pen. I don't. I'm not sure if $180 is supposed to be like a good price. But I don't think so because one time we smoked that, I know so. And one time we smoked, he gonna tell me it was 150 for the thing, so we split that. It was, I was like for an ounce, but he let me keep it though. I was like, okay, period. Uh. But that was 150. If your blood charge you 150, what in the hell makes you think you gonna charge a bitch like me? I'm like, hey. I was like, the abominable throat can't get a bitch at 135. Like, tell me down below. I, I, tell me down below. I was like, you're the worst. But you know what? Y'all wanna really get messy? I'm like, we about to, I'm about to call this nigga. Hello? You are like the worst plug in the fucking world. I'm the worst plug. Plug. Yes, like how the fuck you trying to get a customer and you can't even respond? Nope. Why the fuck would I ask? Okay, bye. Like this, I... You see, but do you see? He had to go. It could only be a friendship at that point because he's dumb. Like he's... He's stupid. He's really, really, really stupid. Like that just blew me right now. Didn't I tell you I was gonna do that later? Why in the fuck would I be asking like... <sighs> Niggas, man. Like it can't be me. That's how you know a bitch got some growth. Cause old me would've like, I would've still been bitter that we wasn't talking. And then I would've cussed him out over that dumb ass shit. Nigga, you dumb bitch! And lastly, y'all don't take me serious all the time. I feel like the internet is so, like bitches be looking to get mad. Like y'all wanna get mad at everything. I'm starting to get to the point where I'm tired of having to over explain myself. I feel like bitch, y'all know what I be meaning. Like, and you know the type, when you hear people talk and you know the type of person they are, or at least their vibe and the, you know, who they are and the, from what I show you, you know I mean it in the best way possible. Why would you try to assume the worst? Like bitch, you just wanna, you just wanna fight bitch, really. Y'all, I'm not about to keep trying to explain, over explain myself. Y'all know what I be meaning, read through the lines, like come on. And like I said, if it's something where I feel like it's important to be very specific, I'll do that. But So somebody asked me how I feel about the Kiki Palmer situation. I'm not gonna lie, I don't give a damn. Kiki Palmer, I don't care about Ariana Grande's uh, cheating scandals. Wait, see now listen time out, I didn't get the whole story. Ariana Grande is dating her co-host and he left his bitch for her? See now listen, I ain't know all them developments of the story. I just thought this bitch was Mr. Snatcher, nigga. Like, I thought she was just snatching him up. What wait y'all think this white woman ain't gonna do with? White people take everything. Yeah, that's scandalous. She wrong as hell. If I was, if you know what? If I was Dalton and the guy's wife, bitch, that lick back would be so stupid. I tell all that bitch business. Yeah, and Ariana thing. I'm not gonna hate her for it. I don't, re I don't respect it. Like, I don't think that she should be doing this. Like, that's not cute. But I'm not gonna hate the bitch. She dropped a song. I'm a bop. I'm, I can't lie. Now, what was gagging me a little bit is that she was, um, still messing with Big Sean when Big Sean was with Janae. And I gag at it every time I think about it because if I was Janae, that bitch would've got beat up. We too grown to be seeing her acting like we not about to fight about our niggas. I, 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 listen, I will do it for the right one. And Big Sean, he seems like he really is a good man. Like, girl, but he just had that, he's had that pipe on him. Oh, Ari, she was getting, Bitch was getting stretched out, but I'm not even gonna like it up. Big Sean looked like he liked to grab him. Bow, bow, bow! These celebrities, what they have going on in their life literally does not affect me. Like, you know what I mean? I'm definitely a very separate the artist from the music type of bitch. Not even, like, I be fucking with these people. Like, I be fucking when they let us see on the internet. Like, you know, you could fuck with somebody and like love their music and be like a fan. I feel like everyone should always know these people don't know you. They don't like build that relationship with you when they get to that extent. I meet y'all. It feels good cause I'm so interactive with y'all. Like I talk to y'all hella. For me, for some reason, I think all my girl followers look a certain way and all my boy followers look a certain way. So when I text y'all, like I literally imagine I'm texting really just like one big group of people and we're just all talking like that. Like the shared mind. Like it's it's getting, it's kind of deep, not gonna lie. If there's like a, ever a time where I have a hundred million followers and plus, we gotta be a little realistic. Like I'm always gonna have a connection, love for y'all. Always, no matter how big. Or if I got small and like I got camps, I would still love the hell out of my followers because I'm grateful for y'all. Why y'all think Ariana Grande can't cheat? Y'all thought because she was sweet, girl, that little bitch is a thought. Okay, she's a thoughter. She be getting busy. Kiki Palmer, I don't think that she should have been dancing like that because I know, just, I always say that, only that because I know if it was my nigga, girl, I'd be so, I'd be so mad. Like, that's embarrassing. And y'all both celebrities, like, mm. that's just ignorant ass. He just keep doing to people. YG, YG is gonna shoot his ass about Sweetie. She better stop playing with her. See, my bitch tough to pee though. She was, mm hmm. 
Let's stop for the blood to walk up in here and start lighting shit up. Girl, she knew better. She shouldn't have been as touchy. Maybe if she wanted to just dance, that was cool. But you, you start grinding on the nigga and you gonna turn around. I don't know. If it was mine, I'd be kind of mad. But the outfit, like, girl, boop, get the fuck out of here. Time is aggressive. Okay, you can wear shit like that. Another thing um, that kind of leads into is the Doja Cat thing. Girl, no shade. Like, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all right now. I loved a lot of her songs, but... I never built that relationship with her in my head. Like, she's always just been, like, a celebrity. Cause when I used to think like that, like, when I first started meeting TikTokers, I was like, oh, my God. Man, you realize these are regular-ass people. I'm telling y'all, I'm a regular bitch. I got followers. That is the only thing that is different for me and y'all. And God damn, I'm about to die. I'm back. I'm, I'm over the seafood. I did their shit. I waxed it, for real. I'm on the granola bar, though. I needed something to... The, the salty was too much. I needed something to calm down the levels. Keeping that bitch out from salty and sweet. It was... This is a lot. My sodium, I don't need nothing but water. For like the next week. But no, that doesn't make anything that Doja said. Like, just because you're not supposed to build a relationship with a celebrity... Does not make it okay for her to say what she's saying. Like, you're being so nasty to your followers and, and your, like, your fans. Like, to go and tell your followers you don't love them and that you never love them was just a money grab, that's crazy. See, that's, I, be, I say this all the time. These celebrities and these influencers be forgetting who they are. Like, they are nobodies without y'all. Y'all make celebrities celebrities. As soon as you don't care about celebrity, they're, they're done. You gotta just not give a fuck. So to have a group of people, like, amassed to that big, to just love you and care for you so much that your social status is like just lifted. That's crazy. That's a that's a different type of you have to have appreciation for some shit like that. How do you feel about everyone starting a YouTube channel? Whoever wants to start social media, start that shit. Like it's life changing. Like you can there's money in here. But I'm not worried at all because people don't have the the patience and the attention span to do YouTube. You gotta put effort in that shit. Like you gotta find a posting schedule and try to stay to it at least a little bit. Like you know I'm not, I'm not here every Wednesday. I'm not here every Sunday, but I'm here a lot. I'm here at least once a week. If a celebrity hit you on the DL for a good knee buckler, would you tell anyone or keep it a secret? I don't know what the hell that is. My bitches is freaky. Shit. The word buckle itself sounds a lot. So you want me you want me to knee buckle? Like I feel like I'm gonna be bow legged after. Like that's what that's what it gives. What is your opinion on the whole just hilarious situation regarding womanhood and trans women? Okay, well, it's gonna be very quick and very light. As a man, I don't have listen, I act girly. I, um, you know, get a lot of my traits from black women, considering how I grew up a lot of them, I just tend to be feminine. So that does not mean that I'm a woman. I know anything about womanhood. I don't understand how important it is to y'all. I can just imagine. And most of the time, my your importance to your womanhood is so much beyond my understanding. I'd have no, I have no opinion in that at all one starting with jess i think she's crazy as fuck for dropping that video i thought like jess hilarious is corny as fuck for what she said because she doesn't care about womanhood this womanhood that she i definitely it comes off very transphobic like she's always getting her disses in with trans women like it's like girl like she be mad because people think that she look like Ike Turner. But you know, even then, I can't even say that. I don't have any opinions on it. Can't say that she's not justified in feeling so fucked up about being called a man all the time. Like, I'm sure as a woman, you don't want to be called a man, especially a black woman, when all our features are very, like, like, they're very prominent. And to be clear, just so we, you know, I, I, I hate a bitch who likes to jump in the comments doing too much. I'm not saying trans women, her being compared to trans women is her being compared to men. I'm saying, like, you know how I just said she looked like Ike Turner? I don't think that that's just a comment I saw. Like, stop saying black women look like men because y'all's moms look like Bigfoot. A, a black nose, black lips, big foreheads and shit. Like, okay, girl, like, that's just, that's just her. Like, that's just, that's just how she was born. She's a black woman, that's normal. You know what I mean? Like, but she's not ugly. I don't think the approach that Jess made is right. I do not agree with that. But I do understand the feeling of getting hate comments and getting thousands and thousands of crazy comments about your appearance and how it could fuck you up. And when you get that for years like her, she's been doing this since 2014 before there was cancel culture. So just imagine the things they were saying about her. It's up for interpretation. I try not to think about it because it doesn't affect me. Like that's, it, it doesn't affect me. I try not to think about it. What do you think about the beat between Lotto and Ice Spice? I don't give a damn. Ice Spice is actually real cool. Now listen, I will say this. Now listen, I'm gonna keep it real. Y'all know me. One thing I'm gonna do is keep it a binge. Ice Spice, she's hella cool. I love her new EP. Like the song they were actually, I love them. Like they're on heavy rotation right now. She actually follows me on Twitter. She's cool peoples. 
Isis. Isis, bitch. That was messy. But I'm not gonna hate Lotto because Ice Spice hate her. I'm not gonna hate Ice Spice because Lotto hate her. Like, I don't I don't know them. These are grown women, mind you. Just remember we're talking about those parasocial relationships? Do you think that Lotto or Ice Spice or Nikki or Cardi or Megan would cut off one of your ops? Like a bitch, if a bitch jump you today and get an opportunity to work with them and they wanna do it, they're gonna take it. And they will know. If, even let's say they knew that you just you just got jumped by this bitch the day before. Yeah, y'all should touch a little bit of grass. Your thoughts on fighting in college or thoughts about black men rejecting black women and being colorists? Fighting in college, I feel like, girl, they try to normalize everything but the wrong shit. Like, how you gonna be mad at a bitch for fighting somebody and we supposed to just normalize you get to college and you just start doing this and this, you might do some drugs and you might get drunk and do this and I know how... But if I, th I throw a punch at a bitch, I gotta get expelled? What? What y'all think gonna happen? You throw a bunch of random bitches in a dorm and be like, yeah, so this is your roommate for the next seven months. And um, this bitch stink and she don't like black people. What? Like, girl, someone's gonna get hit. And as far as black men rejecting black women, girl, the world is gonna be beige by 2045 what is up with black what y'all hate about black women like really but i mean i get the intimidation because black women are just strong but it's not because they want to be like girl as a black imagine being a woman but then imagine being a black woman I, this is why i fuck with y'all so much like this is why i love y'all because y'all got it y'all got it y'all got it bad like no one respects black people already, but then you're gonna have the nerve to be a woman too. Like, you have it harder, you're set back. Like, you could be doing the exact same job as somebody, and just because this is a white man, he's up here to that, that check, he's shitting on yours. And that's not funny. I'm not even making jokes about it. Like, it's not good, but like, I mean, shit, that, that sucks that it happens to y'all. And, you know, it's like black woman, men, and then white men, bitch, I can't even touch the ceiling. Girl, that's 13 feet. They up there. They they up there. They are making sure that we are like eight steps behind. So it's like to have to consistently have to be strong about everything because you are trying to play catch up every second of every day. Like, yes, that can come off as a little bit intimidating, but I would want someone like that on my team than some just bitch who just, I don't know, just, I guess, I mean, you get everything handed to you. That could be nice. That could be nice. But um, can imagine mixing like that. Like I have to get married to a black man. You know, I will. I will. I want my experience in life. It doesn't have to be the same as yours, but I want you to understand my blackness. If that makes sense. That's perfect. My me and my me and my bitch who's with me. Like yeah, I just ate that. I just ate that. I gotta go tell somebody. So bitch, tell me why I'm telling them I wanna marry a black man, right? You know, it's good to have things handed to you, but I feel like there's just nothing in the world better than a, a, a black woman being on your side. Oh shit, I don't, I don't just say that. Like, I, I'm gonna keep it real. I got some crazy ass black women in my family, but I know, when one thing I do know, they're, cr they're crazy as fuck. But when they, them bitches gonna go hard for you and they gonna have to go back. I, I've been dead wrong a few times and my mom still had my back. I mean, she had no choice. I was her kid, so she had no choice. I've seen her go dumb hard for my stepdad. I've seen her go dumb hard for me, my sister. I've seen her go dumb hard for like other family that she loves them. I've seen other black women do the same thing. Black women, when they love you, they gonna hold you down. And a black woman's gonna, and not to say other races don't do that, but it's just, I'm sorry, as a black man, I'm more connected to a black women and black, just black people. I want them to know my experience. If I was straight, I would, I would fuck y'all. I hope y'all know that. Oh, Ricky done told me to check the group chat, bitch. Bitch, oh, girl, her hairstylist is beefing with her lash check. I need to call her and get the guy guy. Okay, Ricky, give us a tea. Then we gonna answer a few more questions and I'm getting off. Ricky, wait, before you start talking, sister. <laughs> I am on camera, so should I stop recording or is this? No, you wanna add my little drama? No, shake sister! Don't tell sister. I, I don't my fault. My fault. Well, bitch, you was. I didn't really have to do much, bitch. I had to ask for real, so. Right. Okay, so I got my lashes done the day before my hair put me. Right. So, so yesterday, you know, my last set took her little pics, and then my hairstylist today took videos of my hair. Right. Right. So my the videos of my hairstylist posted were gummy cute, you know, bad bitch right. And my stylist, I mean, my last tech took it upon herself to post the video that my last tech took today. Um, Ooh. And basically saying like, you know, my clients look so amazing. Like her hair looks so pretty. I'm not gonna lie, she was giving girl, girl, you know what I mean? Like she was giving, um, you know, she just wanted to show some love. She just wanted to show some support. 
and also post her work as well because mind you in the video I only have lashes and make lashes and I saw I saw right so it's like I I mean I get her advertising because I mean my lashes are very much getting to into the video mm -hmm. so I mm. guess after then my hair tech hit up my lash tech and was like Ooh. can you delete my video off your page and then my last tech was like I'm so sorry I hope you don't think I like you don't take offense to that Baby didn't put my pineapple juice in the fridge and I've been looking for it and now I want to turn up but I'm Listen, bitch, I need you to stay on topic, bitch. We we talking. Sorry, we getting into it. it. <laughs> full bottle of pineapple juice, like, just sitting out. warm now. Like, anyway. But, <clears throat> so, then my hair tech, like, the hair tech texted back after the bitch done shot her whole motherfucking life story. And she was like, I understand that, but you didn't even ask me. Like, you just posted my shit. So, take it down, basically. So then the girl took it down, and then when she took it down, my last tech, my hairstylist just blocked her. So then now my last tech is fucked up by it. Like, she texted me hella, well, like. What the fuck? That don't seem like a big deal to me. I, I feel like because now my last tech talking about, since she didn't do anything wrong, she's going to put it back up. And she's oh? just like, yeah. And I was like, so then listen, I'm telling her, I was like, I can't stop what you want to do. I sent it to the screen, to you the screenshots. Honestly, the only screenshots after that you probably might want to see a little bit is the ones where my last where my hairstylist texted back but like honestly she only texted back once the bitch was sending fucking paragraphs okay um I'm good, okay. and then like yeah that's the only thing that really matters everything else has summed up to you because girl just keeps girl. It's no shade. It's no shade. It's no shade. It's no shade. No I would have, if I was the last tech and the bitch blocked me and I was just trying to be nice, no shade. I would have put it back up too, just to piss her off. Just to piss her off, I'd have been like, oh, really, bitch? Well, bitch, go back and get my fucking lashes. Like, we would have, I would have been talking. She would have hated me. The way the hairstylist even came at her, like, she sound like, that bitch sound like she liked to scrap. Can you take my video down? And then the girl was like, hey, sorry, I didn't have to mention, I didn't have no intention to bother you. Um, at all with her posting this video. It was super cute and I love the lashes I did on her and her hair was super be beautiful overall. The whole combo was amazing. I was just trying to post it because the ankles and everything were amazing. I was going to reach out and ask if I could tag you as well to promote your page, but if that's a problem, I'm sorry about that. I had no bad intentions, blah, 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 blah. Then the girl said, I understand that, but you could have asked me and you did it. Oh, she said you could have asked me, but you did it. I don't appreciate my content being posted without my consent. It's the principle of the situation. So then the girl was like, okay, my bad love. My client mentioned she was getting her hair done and I went to see her work. Um, she was like, it's such a um, coincidence. Um, blah, 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 blah. She was like, but again, I'm not stealing your work, your content. I'm just a girl's girl. I love promoting and posting others. So I was just about to reach out and ask you, but it's fine. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. And then after then, the last, the hairstylist just read it and literally, just blocked her. So then I was like, oh, I don't know. Hair, I don't know. I don't know. Listen, the hairstyles, that bitch sound like she rude as fuck. Like, yeah, and, oh, and I was like, today when we was, she wasn't rude to me. Like, I mean, I mean, like, obviously, she, bitch, she knew better. My hairstylist, I can tell she's from New York, like, even based on the music she was playing. And this is my second time going to her or whatever. But, like, honestly, I feel like she's probably just one of those girls who's like, no, I get that. No, I get yeah. that. But, bitch, like, even if now let's now bitch let's say you posted yeah, that shit on your story. You tell your party. Right, bitch. If you could let a bitch, if I, if I could get a word in this bitch. Okay, I'll eat your ass. Like oh my god. No, but real shit. I feel like if you were to post it on your story yourself, the video yourself on your story, and then tag both of them bitches, and the bitch put on her, and the last check put on her story anyway. What the fuck was the 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 nail? Nothing. The hairstyles is gonna do. Like, I mean, bitch, we know I don't do hair. You, they know they're not coming to me to get frontals. They, they're coming here to get a fill in. Like, these bitches are coming here to get some lashes. They know and the way. And then go look at. I just sent you one of my last text. Hey, I even mentioned that to my last text. I was like, it's one thing if your page was unprofessional. Like, let's say her page just did not give my hairstyle a good look, right? Mm -hmm. I'd be like, okay, like, I understand because low key, you're a ghetto ass bitch. But, like, no, like, even my last tech is hella slow. She makes it her other so like, bitch, talk and talk and talk. And, like, she talk and laugh at everything you say type of shit. So it's like, damn. And I don't know. I just feel like she didn't do nothing. Like, she literally didn't do anything. I feel like she's very professional. She. Yeah, she didn't. For my own eyes. And I remember her saying, like, her lashes in here is so beautiful. Like her hairstylist did an amazing. But my 
my clients are so pretty and stuff of that sort. And my hairstylist was like, I'm on tans. I just hate a bitch who gotta be mad. Like, bitch, ugh, I'm over it. How long ago you ordered that motherfucking boy? A while ago. Like, I, I had just a... not eaten. I hope you rewarmed it. I... No, bitch, I ate it cold. Yes, I rewarmed it, bitch. I put it in the fucking oven. Even make a piece of toast without this time. Bitch, wait, bitch, don't do that, cause bitch, I make some bomb ass toast in the morning, and bitch, don't let me throw that bitch on the skillet. I don't know what y'all feel about that situation. I don't know. The hairstylist seemed kind of, she seemed kind of rude. Like she seemed real, like extra bitchy for no reason. Ooh, everyone keeps asking me to talk about the Carly Russell situation. The uh, Carly Russell situation, girl. Listen, Carly Russell is crazy as hell. I know a nigga can make you do some crazy things. I know it, I know he can. There's not enough penis in the world, not one, that can make me pretend I was kidnapped and sold to the black market and like chopped up and shit. Like that's what she was implying. Like we know that black women don't get caught because no one, like what I, what I just said, if everything wraps together. This is exactly why black women have to be strong. And she had the nerve to like, it, it, I, it kind of infuriates me just a little bit. And then you did it over a nigga. Like it's not even like it was a call for help and you were just like real, like just something was going on. but. You did this for a man. And if someone asked me if I would do it, hell no, no, no. I don't think I give that. Like, come on. Someone said, would you seriously put out music? Um, I don't know. If y'all been following me for a while, like a while, while, y'all know that when I went to the Galaxy House, I wanted to do music. Like, I even have, like, a producer. And you know this... Mm, I'm not gonna do it because I uh, like name dropping, but he's worked with some pretty like if I said names like y'all would low-key gag He wanted to work with me when I had came back from that situation in December with the roommates and shit But I was so over I did not care about rapping like you know I didn't I didn't care I had too much going on in life at that point people don't know that I low-key be like I could low-key chew a little bit if y'all know the remix I'm talking about if y'all don't know, I did a Delhi remix, and I wrote this in 30 minutes. And the, I wrote one of them in 30 minutes, everyone was gagged. But then I wrote another one in 10 minutes, it was scrapped, but I recorded it. Y'all listen to this. My, my pen, it's crazy. My pen is, I, listen bitch, I can deliver, I can deliver a punchline. I wanna do a video, y'all, I wanna do a video where I make a like diss track or like a summer like anthem, like a, a bot for the summer, which y'all make that like a video. If it does good, I will go to a studio and either get that song professionally done or make another one for like a part two. If the video does get, it would have to get like 60K views. Just so I know y'all are at least like 50. Like y'all would have to really fuck with it. I would definitely put out music, but I feel, I, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm not a, a rapper. Like that's just something I do for fun now because I mean, it's always been something I've always done for fun, but I, at a point I did want to take it serious, but I don't know. It was kind of like too much going on. Maybe that just wasn't the, place I need to be putting my energy into. So now I just do it for fun and I just am a little good at it. I don't know. If you guys want to see the full videos of part one and part two, you can either find them on my Twitter or you can do them on my, on my spam account. I posted both of those there. Someone said interactions with influencers that are rude. Girl, there's this one influencer. I'm not going to say his name, but he's been, he was a Viner turned in like YouTuber when Vine left. And he was real popular on YouTube and he would keep taking these like, like just random breaks. And I had met him and I was like, hi, like, and I was drunk obviously. And I was like, hi, and he just, you could tell he just thought like, maybe a bitch was like, I don't know. Maybe he thought I was trying to be his friend or something. You could tell he thought I was trying to be his friend or something, but like it never gave that. Like I was saying hi to him because I'm friends with one of his friends. I'm a good friend with one of his friends. So I'm saying hi to him, I'm talking to him, and he's just sitting right here. Like, I didn't introduce myself to him. He didn't, let me just say hi. So I was like, hi. And girl, he was just like, I'm like, okay, never mind, bitch. And I like to humble bitches. So I was like, oh, um, I was like, what's your name? And he was like, da 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 da. And I was like, oh, hi, da 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 da. And I didn't even give him an all like that. It was like a subtle, like a, oh, okay, da 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 da. Because, bitch, you're gonna know, I don't know who you are. Even though I do. And then one of their friends too, I'm like, it's a real weird click over there. Like, they're, mm -mm. but the friend I'm cool with, he's cool. But he's strictly just an internet friend. We would never like kick it. Friends trips, unhygienic people, 
I hate both. Like, I hate both, actually. You don't shower, it's just like, oh, like, girl, you so old. Like, you're too grown to not shower. You're too grown for your house to be dirty as fuck. Like, if you have animals, like, you need to clean up. Like, you need to clean up. It's like, I should not be able to walk into your house and feel like I just walked into a poop. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if I walk into your house and it just feels like I just jumped and laid down on an air mattress of booty like uh uh mm -mm, i can't like i it's sick you're too wrong you don't want to brush your teeth every day like it's just like oh my god like wear a face mask if you don't want to i don't know it's so many things like being dirty it's never seen being cluttered and being dirty like i don't know it's it's a, it's a special i just try to stay away from them but as long as they leave me the hell alone i don't smell nothing i'd be cool i mean do what you gotta do it's not affecting me I don't know, I'm very antisocial and I feel like with friendships, like I when I go on vacation, I like to I'm very I'm very easy. Like I like to just chill. I like to chill. I will sit in my hotel room. At my parents' wedding, I shit you not, I was in my hotel room for like at least two out of those four days. Just chilling, just chilling, just chilling, girl. Cause that's a vacation to be left alone. That's a vacation for me. And I feel like my friends would like it to be out. I don't like to go to the club. I hate clubbing. I don't like to go, um, shit, a lot of things. I don't really like to drink. I don't, I don't know. I like to do stuff. I'm fun. Like I can be fun, but when that social body runs out, I can't hide it. Like, so friendships, I feel like it's just too much pressure. And if the, as long as the friendship is like, oh girl, let's just go like a, a nice, like, you know, peaceful getaway to Hawaii. Okay, I can get into that, but bitch, you wanna go to Miami? Mm -mm. Go ahead and take me off the list. I'm not gonna have my part for the Airbnb. Like Ricky and a lot of our other friends are going to Puerto Rico. Ricky invited me months ago. I've been telling her, I'll think about it, think about it. And I said yes for a second, but I realized I don't wanna go. My mom wants me to go to Bahamas with her and um, I told her no, <laughs> that's it. Someone said, would you ever double back to Leprechaun? I don't, I don't know who that is. Um, who is that? I mean, I'm sure you guys probably don't either. Cause who does? So I don't, I don't know. I don't know who Leprechaun is. I don't, cause someone to help me jog their, like jog my memory. What, is, what do they look like? Like, are we talking about like Leprechaun, real like bulldog mug with, you know, Mickey Mouse feet? Or are we talking about like, what, I need you guys to describe them for me. So if you guys can do that for me, then maybe I can come back. But. I don't have any recollection of that person. <laughs> Advice on overcoming social anxiety. Not saying this is for everybody. Everybody is like different or has different levels to this shit. Me personally, it was losing weight. Like I felt ugly like with my weight and I still have insecurities still. There's still different insecurities, but my biggest was my weight. I felt like the first thing people saw when they saw me was my weight and I thought they thought it was an easy lick, and bitch, it kind of was. Shit, a lot of them got away with a lot of stupid shit. I would say getting your lick back. I try to preach that, you know, I don't know. I feel like sometimes it's, I feel like, you know what? I feel like there's times where getting your lick back, it, it's essential. I feel like it's sometimes where you gotta just sit there and just start whacking. Bow, bow, bow. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, sometimes you gotta take that belt off and turn the bitch around and tell her, pull her pants down and just. You know, move your hand, bitch! Move! Like, you know, sometimes you got to. I, I feel like sometimes you got to, but then sometimes you might try to get your lick back and start licking a little too much, and then bitches be trying to do too much after, and then they just end up looking more dumb, and you know, like, so you gotta pick and choose, but sometimes it's definitely a little bit worth it. People are desensitized to too many things because of social media, especially like unhealthy habits. Yes, I agree, I agree. Um, There should not be as many, it's so, y'all are so like weird now. Like who just randomly posts videos of a dead body? I wouldn't even want like me, a bitch like me, I'm so goddamn spiritual. If I would have had something like that in my phone, I would feel like the Uku Buku monster would try to be this fucking me up every time I close my eyes. Like I couldn't, I, I feel like if I had a picture or a video of a dead body in my phone, like Candyman would just come and just start slashing my sh I can't, I'm good. You can keep that. I was on Twitter a few days ago and I saw a video of an alligator just dragging a human body slowly through the water. Why is this even allowed on the internet? I've seen a video, oh my God, of a lady in New York. Y'all know what we was talking about? Mm -mm, I'm over it. Y'all are nasty as fuck. Hey, right, house, this was fun. I like this. This gave me very podcasty. Like I would want to start a podcast and I would love to talk about stuff and just make it more refined, more like responsible. I don't know. Cause I'm trying to find something to do on my second page. Y'all know I have that vlog channel. The only reason why I've been using it this month was since I've got my cards because I feel like I slacked a little bit. So I wanted to make sure to put any like content I could on this page, but I will be using that page next month. So go ahead and subscribe to that. If you haven't, it'll be in the link in the description. 
I love you guys. I hope y'all like this video. I hope it's over an hour long because someone did ask on Instagram. So shout out to you. And I also want to give a shout out to some of my followers. I'm going to start doing that in the videos if I can. So I'm just going to shout out some names of people that I've noticed more recently. And because I'm doing this so spontaneously, I'll probably just do my Instagram, like on my spam account. But there's definitely, there's definitely people I be peeping. There's definitely people I be peeping on my um, YouTube. I just can't remember y'all's names right now. Obviously, first I want to give a shout out to two of my like most OG followers, Darren and Marquise. Love y'all down. Like those are some of my OGs right there. I love them. Who else be watching? Um, I got some other OGs. There's Darren. There's Marquise. There's Amir. Damn. Damn. Wait. Oh, Barty or Bay on Twitter. That's my, that's my Barty gang sister. I fuck with her. A lot of my, I'm getting, you know, I love that people just let me be like every fucking body on Twitter. I have like Ice Spice Mutuals. Glizzy, if you watching this, that's my bitch too. Just so many people on there. Y'all are all so nice to me on uh, Twitter. The fandoms love me. You know, but the, the, you know, it'd be some, be some weirdos in there, but. Oh my God, my sister Trinity, she always replying to my shit. Ariana, Ariana Alexis, that's my sister. That's my sister. I'm gonna keep it like that. I think next time I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start doing like, I'm gonna do five bitches. I need the baddest heifers on the floor. I'm gonna do five of y'all next time. Yeah, anywho, I'm wrapping this up. I appreciate y'all so much. Love y'all down. Kisses on both cheeks. Bye.